Okay, um, I'm in Tehran, yay! Um, so I made it to Iran, it was only a, a two hour flight um, from Dubai. Um, yeah, I'm pretty exhausted, I've been traveling for two days now. Um, so I've just checked into the hotel, um, Ibi's friend um, met me at the airport, I got through um, I got through the visa process fairly quickly, they just called Ibi and went over a few of my documents. Um, and then it went through, I didn't have to really even go through customs, they let me bypass customs. Um, and it took, the, getting a currency exchange took the longest, um, it took about like an hour to get the currency and this is, they'll just get some currency, this is a currency here. And um, one Australian dollar is 25,000 real, so I feel like really rich because I've got like millions of dollars right now. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to get an early night because I fly to Ahwaz, Ahwaz tomorrow, which is um, where Evie lives. kind of soup, it's Iranian soup, we call it Ash, that's uh, the type we actually um, cook chicken, it's actually chicken kebab, mm -hmm. so uh, yeah it's a special, like with a special call, this is rice, just plain rice, this is vegetable, we have them with all the meals, vegetable, this is yogurt, and this is kebab tomato that's uh, zucchini just called okay. zucchini and that's another type of soup <laughs> it's barley soup barley soup barley soup and that's drink special drink we have yeah great great okay right now um ibi's mum is making um gorba sabsi sabsi gorba sabsi gorba sabsi and Ibi has been telling me how good this is for like years now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's so delicious. It's the most popular food in Iran. Now, now I'm having morning cuppa here with Ibi. Although it's not morning, it's afternoon, but I need to stay awake. We're having cuppa at Ibi's house in Awas. <laughs> we never thought we would have morning cuppa or cuppa in, in our house in Iran. Some hundreds of miles away from Australia. Across seas, across deserts. Exactly. We're still here drinking our morning cup. Exactly. <laughs> on our way shopping at the moment. Alright, um, we've just been shopping and I got two jackets and this is the main street of Arfoz. We've gone on a road trip for the day with um, Ibby's family, with his um, mum and dad and his sister Mary. Um, and we're having a look at some of the, this is one of the, um, the oldest ancient um, civilizations in Persia. Um, Ibby will do a bit of a commentary about it, um, but yeah, that's behind me here. Okay, so um, this area is called Ziggurat, Chaka Zambil Ziggurat. It was constructed in 13th century BC. It's one of the oldest civilization in the whole world. And um, this actually structure was, was destroyed by another kingdom, which is called Is Assyrian. Assyrian king uh, destroyed this place. So this place goes back to Elamic kingdom. Elamic kingdom is a really big and really old civilization. And uh, yeah, it was destroyed unfortunately by the next kingdom and uh, and now this is what has remained from 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 that time. And 
hopefully um, we get to go in here. Um, unlike some of the European and Egyptian um, sites, here you can actually go into the, the ruins, so this is going to be amazing. So this is another historic place in our state and in the whole Iran and it was registered as in UNESCO as a heritage. So the structure of this is um, used to, to grind wheat back in thousands of years ago. So people use the water, water actually power and uh, so they made some holes in the stones, in the, uh, in the rocks, so water can go past through the holes. And in the middle of the holes, they made the grinders, so the water, so the water could to, could actually turn the grinder. So back in the day, we see people were really small. They could use natural power to uh, to produce energy actually. like a mint and saffron um, drink. Delicious. It's quite different. It's different, yeah, it's very different. Uh, this is the uh, lunch we're having. Mint. 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 No, no. And this is going to be a very delicious cook starving from all the walking around we've been doing. Oh, yeah, but it's better than the bridge, which is thousands of years old. That bridge, which is part this so destroyed. That's, that's a few yeah. thousand years old. The one, the one that showed you. You remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's the bridge. Yeah. Okay, we're driving back to Awas now. And um, I yeah, love Bibi's so mum. So whenever I um, do a road trip again, I'm going to bring her because she gives us tea. She's got a supply of nuts. She like keeps us alive. She has chocolate and everything. <laughs> chocolate, oh, tea, and nuts, and everything. I didn't let her to bring uh, fruits. Otherwise, we would have had, had fruit. Yeah. Kinda. <laughs> Iran, okay? Okay. Okay, Iran. Yawash, yawash. Yawash, Ibi's mum and sisters have cooked this delicious feast. 